All right, Tim, so with all of that heat, people are probably wondering, how is that grid handling? So let's go ahead and check out our cut supply and demand. So that teal line, that is the demand, okay? And we want it to stay below the purple line, which is the, the supply. As you can see, it's getting really, really close together right now, but even so, ERCOT is reporting normal grid conditions, thanks in part to solar and wind. So over the past couple years, solar and wind has exploded in Texas. I spoke with energy expert Doug Lewin, who says 30% of all power produced in Texas for ERCOT is from wind and solar. Another 10% is from nuclear and about 60% comes from coal and gas, and that's mostly gas. Now, today at five, ERCOT is expecting we will break the all-time energy use record by about 500 megawatts, but there are still about 5,000 megawatts of cushion, which hopefully should be enough. As long as ERCOT has existed, there has never been an outage in the summertime. Now, knock on wood, doesn't mean there won't ever be, but we typically have a system that is built for summer and I don't expect outages. I do expect conditions will be tight today and tomorrow, but tight conditions is not the same as um, outages. And that's why solar is so good, because when it's crazy hot, it's usually sunny. And that's why Lewin says solar is just knocking it out of the park this week, helping to keep those ACs running. There are no conservation notices from ERCOT right now. And Lewin says that typically happens when we only have about 2300 megawatts as a cushion. And remember, we are at about 5000 megawatts of cushion. That said, your electric bill will sure feel this heat too. So whether it's needing to conserve energy or just wanting to, to save money, we've got the best tips to help you do just that coming up at five.